Hola, mijos. I have the last story in this book. It's the last one. It's called The River Moves On. Here's a picture of it. Hmm. What do you think The River Moves On is about? Maybe something to do with change? Hmm? It's... Close your eyes and imagine a river. It's a silvery, playful river that winds its way gracefully through the countryside. What would it be like to take a ride down this river? Let's see if you can find out. Pick up your magic lantern and walk with me down the enchanted path. Where will it lead us tonight? You're lying in a little boat that's floating down the river. The boat rocks gently as it moves. The bright sunlight makes your eyes blink. All around you, you can hear the buzzing of the bees, the singing of the birds, the whistling of the wind, and the burbling, gurgling water. Such gentle, calm, and peaceful sounds. Wonderful things come in and out of view. A darting dragonfly, a floaty, fluffy dandelion seed, a leaping frog. You put your hand out to touch them, but they come and go so quickly. Sometimes you feel a little frightened, but only for a moment. Mostly you feel safe and happy. You like it here. You want to stay forever, but the river moves on. Now the river goes faster. You manage to sit up to see more of the view. Now you reach out to touch things that grow along the river bank. As you do this, the boat wobbles a little. You stroke the tall, fluffy reeds and the long, silky grass. You dabble your fingertips in the rippling water. You feel the soft petals of a flower. You want to explore everything you can reach. Then everything is out of reach. You stand up as carefully as you can. The boat rocks from side to side, and again you feel a little afraid. But you're so excited about the sights and the sounds of the river that you soon forget your fear. You like it here. You want to stay forever. But the river moves on. Now you're standing up in the boat. It seems to find its way down the river, all by itself. You try to work out who's steering it. Here the river life becomes even more interesting. A duck comes over to investigate. A swan guides her baby cygnets out of the way. Then a sleek, velvety animal with big, soft eyes pops her head out of the water, just for the moment to take a good look at you. It's an otter. Now she dives away again. More and more things come into view. You like it here. You want to stay forever. But the river moves on. Then you notice that the water that the water is beginning to move faster. It feels dangerous, but exciting. Now it rushes over the rapids. The boat rocks and spins in the swirling water. You're hurried along. Faster and faster goes the boat. You hold on tight. You breathe deeply. Your heart beats fast. Now you're in a whirling pool where bright silver fish jump all around you. It's thrilling. It's amazing. You like it here. You want to take charge of all these things for yourself so that you can stay here forever. But the river moves on. Now, for some reason, the boat glides very slowly. There's no current to move it. There's no current to move it along. No sail to catch the wind. You're bored by this part of the river. You find a pair of oars hidden in the front of the boat and try to row yourself forward. It's very hard work. You don't feel you're getting anywhere. You don't like it here. You're worried that you might be stuck here forever. You think about jumping into the river and swimming for the bank. But just as you're about to take a leap, the river moves you on. Now you're in wide open water. The boat no, no longer goes by itself. You're in charge. As you row, you see lots of other small boats with other people in them. The boats seem to be doing a strange dance, weaving in and out of each other and sometimes bumping into each other. Whoops! You fall overboard into the cool water. But straight away, many hands reach out and help you back into your boat. 
You know that if you fall again, you can scramble back all by yourself. You know that you're able to guide your own boat. You look at the water that stretches far into the distance in front of you. It looks full of fun, excitement, and wonder. You take a deep breath. It won't all be easy. Sometimes you may hit rough water, or a storm, or a waterfall, or even a whirlpool. You may capsize, you may find a hole in your boat, or you may find yourself rushing toward the rapids almost out of control. At other times, the gentlest of breezes will carry you to the loveliest of places. Who knows? Perhaps you'll find a beautiful blue pool where you want to stay forever. But the river always moves on. Life is like a river. It changes all the time. Sometimes you can take charge of the things, but other times there's nothing you can do. You just have to accept what's happening. Sometimes it's best not to do things that seem scary. But if you always turn down the chance to do something new, you'll miss out on all kinds of interesting and exciting adventures. Often we do things because other people are doing them. But sometimes it's better to go our own way. It's good to learn to do things on your own. And because then you don't have to rely on other people always doing them for you, with you. That's all, mijos. There are some other meditations in this book I would really like to go over with you. But I think um, I think we'll have to save that for whenever we're together. In just over a month. I know. I'm so excited. I will talk to you. I will talk to you soon, mijos. But we have a new book. But this is going to be, I think, the the last short story time book. Because I think what what we'll do now, what what we'll do after this book, is we'll start on a chapter book. What what book would you like to read first? I would like I would like to know. Maybe we read Moby Dick. Maybe we read. I don't know. What 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 big big book do you guys want to read? I'll talk to you about it on Sunday or tomorrow even. I might try to talk to you tomorrow. Love you, mijos. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.